Hi and welcome to this DCP Work tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add products to your WooCommerce shop page. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got one example picture of a product that I want to add to the website. And if I open up this little TXT file, I've just got some notes in here about the product image, the description, the price, the SKU and a little size guide table that I've created here. And I'll explain how to use all of this content and add it to the WooCommerce shop to create a new product. Let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And I'm on this website that I'm working on at the moment for a client. And they're just going to be selling like t-shirts, stuff like this. They've got men's, women's, they've got a few other categories as well. We click on the drop down, we can see the main categories here. And I'm going to click on men's because that's the type of product we're going to be adding right now. So we can see all these different products that are listed and we're going to add a new product. So let's go back to the admin control panel. So log into your WooCommerce admin and under the WooCommerce settings here, you want to click on products. When you click on products, we're going to click add new. And the first thing that this, the website is going to ask you for is the product name. What is the name of this product? So let's just open up this folder and open up this little TXT file. And the name of the product is written here. So I'm just going to select this and paste it into here. And the next thing it's going to ask me for is the price. So the price will be £15. And we just we don't actually enter in the pound sign, we're just entering the value here. I'm going to click on inventory and it's going to ask me for an SKU. The SKU is optional, but I would advise that you, you have SKUs for your products because each SKU identifies a product specifically. Let's move over to this right hand control panel. And in here, we're going to click on men's because it's going to be a men's t-shirt. And we can add some product tags. These are optional, but we could type in something like men because this is a men's t-shirt. We can click that and then we can type in t-shirt, right? And if you've used these tags before, they'll pop up in here. You can just select them. If they don't, if they're not available, then when you click add, it will add it as a new tag. Now, next thing we want to do is add the product image. So let's go to set product image here and we'll click on this and we'll just go to the, the folder on my desktop. So let's just, let's just minimize this a second. We'll get to this folder and all we're going to do is drag and drop this picture into the directory, right? We'll drag and drop it in here. I've already got a copy there, so let's just delete this one. We don't really need it there. And I'm just gonna rename this one slightly. One thing to note is before you drag and drop a picture into the, uh, the, the file manager here, the media library, you should try and name the picture as best as possible. Just give it a really good name, something that, that, something that you know, represents the product well. So when we drag and drop it into here, the reason why we do that is because that name gets used in the title here. And what we want to do is cut this title and paste it into the alt tag because this is better for optimization. Yeah, it's better for optimization, basically. If we click set product image, we'll see the image here now. And the next thing I want to do is really add a table. So if I go to this first product, we can see down here, we've got like a little size guide, right? So I want to add this little size guide. So if I go back to the admin control panel and open up this notepad file, I've created a HTML table here. So this is a little bit beyond the scope of um, our tutorial today. But if you want to learn how to make tables, then by all means, write a little message in the YouTube commenting and I'll show you how to make tables. But if you already know how to do that, then all you need to do is click on text here because we're going to add text content, not visual content. And it will be a HTML table and we'll click visual and we can see this little table in here. It will look a little bit different in here compared to the website. As we're going along and adding all this content, we should click save draft because that will save a copy. But when we click save draft, it doesn't publish it directly to uh, the public. It's basically a draft copy for administrators, for you and I for, to see or for the client to see until the website goes live. The one other thing I want to do is go back to this notepad file and in here I have a little description. So I'm going to copy this description and I'm going to go right down to the bottom of the page here and paste it in here. Now, normally you should write a meta description, so that can just be this little short description, but I would advise you to write a little bit more than this. If you've got um, Yoast SD installed, you can see like the bars going up. Normally you want to try and get it closer to the top, so you want to write a bit of a better description to be fair. But you can see the pictures in here, and you can see it in like mobile here and desktop view. But Yoast, I'll explain that maybe in another tutorial. For now, we're going to focus on um, the content adding, right? So let's click save draft again and we can now click on preview. So I normally middle mouse click on this so it opens in a new tab and we'll click on there, we can see the product here, we can see the price, we can see the title and we can see the little short description that we added, right? 
that was right at the very bottom here that's that little short description and then we've got the little table in here right and it just gives the customer the size so if they want a small size a medium large or extra large they understand what these sizes represent in terms of the product itself right so this is quite important now sometimes you may want to add alternative pictures so you may want to show the front you may want to show a little like a close-up view or maybe someone wearing the t-shirt i don't have any alternative images for this particular product if we go to the admin control panel and if we scroll down to the bottom to product gallery we can click on that and you'll just drag and drop your files as you dragged and dropped this file so you might have a different like the back view of this product or a close-up view in this case i'm just going to select a few other images let's just say these uh these ones here let's click this one here uh, let's click this one and let's just add to gallery and maybe we can select a few more let's select this one this one here and maybe we'll add one more right let's add this one so normally these will be three different pictures of this product maybe the back view of it a close-up view of this uh, this this uh, Spartan helmet and then maybe someone actually wearing the t-shirt right I'm just putting these as examples because I want to just uh, save this and then we don't need to click preview again we've got the tab already open so we can just refresh it I just want to show you that you can add alternative pictures here so there can be different images of that particular product and when you roll over it it will zoom in depending on the type of theme that you're using so I'm using flatsome theme on this one it's called flatsome and if we click on it you can see a larger view of the product and then you can just click on the arrows to move through them right like this okay so that's how you go about adding a product one thing that you'll know is if we go back to the shop and if we go to the men's category and we click on this first product there is actually a drop down menu here this is called product variations so in my next tutorial i'm going to show you how to add product variations this tutorial is mainly focusing on just adding standard type products so you may have a t-shirt that is just um, a specific size if you notice when i go to shop and go to men's we don't see that product listed here the new one that we've added that's because we need to go to the admin control panel and click publish right now it's saved as draft so it's temporary so imagine if you wanted to add more content to this product before it goes live you save it as a draft copy if we click on products here you'll see that it's been set to draft this written draft here so if we go back and click on that product we can now publish it by clicking publish and then if we go to the website and refresh it we should see it in these listings we're probably towards the bottom and here we can see this new product that's been added so really this product's you can click on it and go and buy it if, if this website was live today let's click on that product and in my next tutorial i'm actually going to show you how to create the variation drop down list this was just to show you how to add a basic product right so it might be a toy a coffee mug it could be any type of product it might even be a t-shirt but you only have one size for example so it can be any type of product but you use this same sort of workflow and same sort of logic to add the product to the website in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to create product variations that's quite important so if you have a product that that has different sizes like small medium large then you can add this drop down menu and then the customer can select large and then add it to the shopping basket okay let's go ahead and minimize this and close this down that's the end of this tutorial showing you how to add products to your woocommerce shop page i hope you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 650 free video tutorials and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial